Hey there gang, Lauren here, Mrs. Tomato Head, coming to you with another review of a micro dwarf variety. I had not intended on filming today. Uh, I was just coming out here to garden as I do each day. And um, I noticed that this plant, something is pecking at it, clawing it, I don't know. Um, but it's, this is Tiny Totem. And it's a beautiful plant with great big fruits. And I wanted to get a review in before I pick them so nothing starts getting at it. Um, it looks like it could be a split, but I think something's pecking at it or, or trying to claw to it. So again, this is Tiny Totem. I did a pot this. This is a two gallon grow bag that it is in. Uh, started it off in one of my aluminum six inch pots. It did not do well. It definitely needed more room. Um, so this, let's see how big, it's not that big, but I, I guess just needed more grow space. And once I up potted it into a two gallon grow bag, um, it, it really flourished. So this is only, it's only six, six, seven inches tall. Um, as you can see, the fruits are huge. This is likely the biggest fruit I've seen out of a micro dwarf. Mini Marzano has some nice sized fruit. Um, Florida Petite has some, but the, these are these are bigger. So, um, and it's it's a good amount. I'd say, let's see, one, two, I don't know if you can see underneath there, there's still quite a few green ones, various shapes and sizes. Um, this is the biggest one, the one they were packing at. I don't know if you can see it. Yep, there it is little buggers so um let's give it a taste it, it's really i love the size of these fruits i planted this on february or i sowed these seeds rather on on february 27th you know it looks like it's actually splitting a little we did have some rain this week uh no there's pecking involved too i see i see some pecking on this it is down in, in our lawn so it's easy easy access for our critters um so let's see today is june 20th and sow these seeds on February 27th. So it takes a while. Um, nice lush fruit foliage, lots of foliage. Um, again, it, this one definitely does not do well in a smaller pot. I would definitely go one gallon is probably fine, um, but I really wanted to see what it could do. So I put it in two gallon. So here's the fruit. I don't have my trusty quarter with me, but it is, um, it's big. You know, you can see from the look at my hand, it is, it is a big one. Um, I do have a measuring tape here. Let's see, get all technical here. Yeah, these fruits are, these are about two inches wide. You know, that's, a, that's sizable for a micro dwarf. Um, obviously they are red. What else? You know, I didn't do my research ahead of time to find out the history on this. I always do that, I did not, but um, I will put it in the show notes when I find out the history on this one. I do have it written down in my spreadsheet, but I forgot to review it before I started filming. So let's cut this baby open. I've got, I use this knife for cutting microgreens and I had it, since I wasn't planning on filming, I had it accessible. So let's cut this guy open, see what he looks like. I can tell, look, this definitely could be riper, in my opinion, a little bit riper. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I could. it definitely could have used more ripening. Um, I think, I think, unless that's just the variety. Um, you know, actually this one on the plant is more red and softer. So while that wasn't being pecked at, I'll use that one for seeds. Let's, let's cut open this guy, he's all red. He's all red, he's a little bit smaller than the other one. Oh yeah, that's a bit better. Wow, lots, lots of seeds and goo, which I love. I know a lot of people don't. Lots of seeds. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. I've got to tell you, I've got a ton of micro dwarfs ripening now. I'm way behind on my reviews, way behind. Um, and some I've had no choice but to pick 
um, because they are ripening and I will either get to the video record of uh, review eventually or I will grow them again and review them in the future. Um, I don't know what I was thinking with starting. I, I started a whole bunch at the same time in January and I think I should have spaced them out, but I wanted to get to this one. This is good gang. At this point, I probably tasted oh, 20 or 30, maybe closer to 30. This Vilma is still my number one. This is a number two, no question. This is delicious. It's got a lot of intense tomato flavor. It's got sweetness and that acidity. I don't like just sweet. I like sweet and acidity. That is a good tomato. Here, I wanna show you the inside again. So yeah, you know, put it in a, a larger container um, and it will flourish and lots of good fruit. That is a yummy, yummy tomato. I'm gonna try, taste the other half again. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. That is delicious. It really is. I'm surprised. I've been a bit under, underwhelmed, to be honest with you, with the flavor of a lot of these micro dwarfs. It seems to be the um, rare occasion that I'm, I'm doing a mmm, you know, like Vilma is fantastic. This is fantastic, I have to say. This is absolutely fantastic. I was not expecting much um, because I, I get excited to taste th these varieties and they're just a, a little bit of a letdown. They're good for what they are. They're beautiful plants, they're decorative. They give you, you know, you can grow them indoors, most of them, um, and I'm still going to continue to grow them. They pale in comparison to what you get in the garden. They just do. This does not. This is very, very good. So Tiny Totem gets two big, big thumbs up from me. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know that Forgotten Heirlooms has seeds for this one. I would assume they do, but um, if, if you are wondering where to get seeds, um, where I got seeds, feel free to message me and I will, I will let you know. But Forgotten Heirlooms is my favorite vendor for Micro Dwarf. So um, I highly encourage you to get Tiny Totem. Delicious variety, as long as you put it in a bit of a bigger pot. I, I think it would be fine in one gallon. This is two. So until next time, Tiny Totem and I, hiding from the critters now, will say thank you, peace and love and get your gratitude done.